Okay, hello everyone. My myself Chirak Deshora. I am from Vellore Institute of Tech uh, in Technology, and uh, my project guide name is Dr. Yagna S. Mukamla, and the project is related to automotive aerodynamics. Uh, my friend and me, my friend name is Vinokunda Nagarjun. We both made this project. Our project title is. Uh, we are going to compare the computational error acoustic modeling and the wind noise generation of uh, external rear view mirror with mini camera on luxury sedan. So basically, uh, we will going to do some analysis on a luxury sedan with mirrors and with camera and compare both the results in in cost of this uh, drag and wind noise generation. So this video will contain. Uh, these topics first I will give some introduction about it then why we choose this project what is the purpose of our study then what methodology we have choose in order to get uh, the results since uh, uh, it is it was also a long process we have uh, we have to choose particular number of uh, elements particular element size so that's some some sort of uh, we have uh, we have done some sort of tests and finally we come to the conclusion that we, how many number of elements what are the element sides will be required in order to get perfect analysis then what general process uh, we have used during each and every analysis that i will discuss after that first for the validation we have choose ahmed body uh, since uh, our first purpose was to get the perfect flow pattern that's what we want so that's why first we have started with the Ahmed body since uh, uh, the validated results of Ahmed body is already available so first we have uh, done all the analysis all types of analysis on the Ahmed body like first we have done, we have uh, pick, uh, taken pure, pure Ahmed body then uh, uh, we have uh, put mirrors on the Ahmed body then camera and after that my friend Vinokunda Nagarjan will explain each and every analysis what we have what we have done on luxury sedan first uh, for the validation we have choose pure luxury sedan then luxury sedan with mirror then luxury sedan with camera this is all we have choose uh, in luxury sedan uh, why these validations are required. These, are, these also will explain by the Vinokunda Nagarjan. And then finally, results and conclusion what we got will be explained. Now, what basically our project is related is first, uh, as we know, aerody aerodynamic uh, drag is one of the very main reason why the fuel efficient vehicles are necessity of a fuel efficient vehicles are increasing so consequently modern vehicle manufacturers are more focused on designing new parts in the vehicle in such a way that uh, it can lowers the aerodynamically generated drag which in turn reduces the fuel consumption and external rear view mirror are also one of the crucial and the most important part in vehicle which provide or which navigate or which provide navigation to driver to see back traffic but simultaneously when we concerned about the drag external side view also generate also contribute to the drag in the vehicle this study will discuss about the newly developing technology of mini side rear view cameras which we will which i will show you all the designs what type of uh, side cameras we have choose and its curvature are all and uh, those cameras we will going to install in place of cam uh, mirrors and first of all i want to explain you uh, how many types of uh, drags are there first internal drags then uh, interference drag then increase drag then pressure drag and surface drag uh increase drag are a 3d 
eddy generated drag and uh, and then the sources types of sources which are uh, wind noise due to which wind noise get uh, generated in the sedans are first is leak noise and second is cavity noise and third is wind rush noise our piece is wind rush noise since uh, wind noise is generated by and uh, since we have we our project doesn't related to any leakage not any cavities our uh, project is related to our project is related to the pressure difference at uh, due to those mirrors now uh, basically uh, i will explain you next the why we have choose this project and the purpose of our study so first uh, purpose of our study is to reduce the total drag as i already explained you at external side rear view mirror then simultaneously we will focus on the reduction of wind noise while optimizing and designing the mini camera view camera rear view uh, for the rear view accordingly secondly we can explain we can also uh, resolve the problem of blind spot which is one of the reason for accidents now the methodology what we have choose is first 3d model of the rear view camera and the luxury sedan will be going to design on commercially package that is uh, so solid work software then this 3d model will be uh, mounted on the reference luxury sedan which will analyze using a commercially available computational fluid dynamics package that is ansys fluent then the aerodynamic characterization of the vehicle after the simulation will be compared with the theoretical result for the validation that is using drag force formula and uh, wind noise the general wind noise generation in a, any uh, concept cars and all that was that all we have uh, validated our results with those results then uh, we have compared the wind noise generation of mirror and camera <clears throat> uh, the purpose uh, the process watch what we have used uh, throughout our project is first i will show you the video in which the element size the um, element size number of nodes number of elements meshes these all will be explained in the com coming uh, video coming next uh, next to this slide and first i will tell you how many number of elements we have choose for ahmed body and luxury sedan for ahmed body we have choose more than 7 lakhs of nodes and almost double of this element number of nodes was 7 lakh and double of this is the number of elements number of elements next to luxury sedan uh, for luxury sedan we have choose more than 16 lakhs of nodes almost uh, double of uh, number of modes number of nodes in ahmed body and double of this we have choose number of elements now this uh, will show you the meshing how we have choose the mesh in this is of uh, mid plane of ahmed body so you can see we have also uh, use some inflation layers over the body and now it will show the number of meshes the statistics that is you can see that it is around 6 lakhs number of nodes and around 33 lakhs of number of elements next uh, this video will show you the how setup how what are the things we have choose in case of setup we have choose first double penetrations double, double precisions then this is our enclosure and model we have used turbulence model what we have used is k uh, epsilon model we have tried with the assisted transition but our results were not that much accurate so we have finally used k epsilon model and then uh, no need of energy and we have calculated our projected area from this in reports we have used and the speed what we have used is uh, 100 km per hour this is basic speed of any luxury sedan then uh, we have uh, choose hybrid analyze initialization and initialize our 
calculation then for the 100 iteration first we have done our calculation and this is how our CD and CLA graph were going during the process then now I will now I'm going to explain you the analysis of Ahmed body which we have which our first purpose for the Ahmed body is to validate our each and every results so that whether we have our results was coming correct or not so this is our CAD model of uh, pure Ahmed body this is coefficient of drag so this is uh, our basically coefficient of drag is uh, pressure drag we have uh, we have calculated drag by pressure variation then this is coefficient of lift it is around uh, 0.3 to 0.35 between and this is between 0.35 to 0.4 and this is residual graph which shows the reduction and the consistency since uh, it shows the consistency and the reduction so we can we finally come to know that our results are quite accurate now this is the flow pattern over the Ahmed body you can see the back side there is a wake generation it's a perfect wake generation this is also wake now uh, you can see the mirror uh, on the can on the body this is a type of uh, mirror which we have used this is a simple design and having a good proportion with the whole body dimension next uh, this is coefficient of drag which comes between 0.3 to 0.35 and then this is a coefficient of lift is between 0.25 to 0.3 and this is a residual graph this is also reduced and having some consistency so with this graph we will come to know that our error is quite minimized so that's why our, our iteration number of iteration is 200 then this is flow pattern at mirror so can see how much vorticity is there amount of vorticity since high amount of vorticity there the pressure difference was also quite high due to this pressure difference the wind rushes and what we can say wind noise is high comparatively to camera this is more close look of the flow pattern at a mirror can see the disturbance in the flow pattern was quite high and i will show you the same flow pattern it's like same the same parameters the flow pattern in case of cameras and see it will be very smooth and very uh, you can say like silent flow there is no any rupture uh, vortex rupture and all it is very smooth and very uh, the flow pattern is very good comparatively to this now this is edged edged surfaces so you can see the other side how pattern is like motion takes place you can see the how this variation how the flow pattern is disrupted when the air passes over the mirror this is also a, a shows very high vorticity this is velocity path lines so now this is our uh, Ahmed body with camera which we have designed on our own this is close look so we have used a circular a curved shape uh, camera and you can see the design of uh, camera is very uh, proportional comparatively to comparatively to other uh, comparative to dimension of Ahmed body and uh, this is a close look now this is CD CD you can see it is coming around 0.35 and 0.4 uh, coefficient of drag with the 200 number of iterations then this is CL it comes between 0.3 0.5 with the 200 number of iteration this is residual graph and uh, see the 200 
iterations it was quite consistent and the reduction in the graph error reduction so this is the flow pattern you can see very smooth flow takes place throughout the mirror you can see very smooth flow and very perfectly it, will, it goes throughout the body see this this you can see back side how the flow pattern was very smoothly around the radial path they flew so this is very perfect flow this is from the back side this is front view and you can see this wig generation perfect wig generation perfect wig generation takes place then this is edged body where you can see the other side also the how the smoothly flow pattern takes place over the body now we will explain the uh, the results and analysis of uh, ahmed uh, of luxury sedan and this is will be going to explain by my friend vinokunda nagarjun so i welcome him so guys uh, now i'm going to tell you first uh, the results and uh, explain you about the luxury sedan results analysis first we we have gone to the ahmed body it's a validation by validation is really important before uh, simulating the model what is the requirement of validation is it, uh, it gives you perfectness for your simulating model and um, so we have gone to ahmed body where uh, validation has been seen now we are going for the luxury sedan analysis here is a luxury sedan we have gone for first pure luxury sedan analysis and where we have been seen the drag and lift coefficients have been calculated over here the drag coefficient comes to be around like uh, 5.0.48 uh, approximately for the pure luxury sedan where there is no abc pillars and the lift coefficient was uh, when calculated for 800 iterations gone to be like 0.448487 by 47 yeah approximately 47 and this is a residual graph iterations it's really correct because it's coming uh, linearly down a um, little variation linearly down and uh, this is the path lines how the velocity path lines are on the pure luxury sedan you can see the variations around the and luxury sedan with external rear view mirrors uh, we are going for the this external rear view mirrors before it i want to tell you what uh, as sirak has discussed there are five types of drags okay um, the five types of drags comes to be like uh, uh, skin friction or surface drag in interference drag and uh, internal drags excrescence excrescence um, excrescence drag and pressure drag the pressure drag as you know it's uh, due to the static way pressure variation with the front and rear body and internal drag is due to radiator uh, intake of a uh, volume of air as we have seen there is no radiator intake we have designed over here so there is no internal drag and there is a pressure drag yes and the skin friction drag is due to the uh, external flow or the surface of the body we can see it over here or screen friction drag and excrescence drag is the formation of 3d observing eddies uh, which can be generated due to the side view mirrors also here it comes to be mostly like interference drag where the external flow is in be interference with the uh, flow uh, interference by the uh, external bodies or the luxury sedan car, uh, car and we have calculated over here where the cd uh, comes to be 0.525 uh, approximately and the cl was coming to be 0.05005 and this is the residual graph where it's been seen and this is a small uh, video where path lines have been generated around the luxury sedan as you have seen the vortex has been generated if you have seen the the back of the rear back of the mirror 
the path lengths uh, represent the vortex generation. Yes, even at the rear, at the rear of the luxury sedan, you can see the TD vortex, the trailing vortex at the uh, edges of the mirror and the diffuser at the bottom of it. Mm. And uh, this is what comes to be like uh, some patterns how we made the path lines, the 3D vortex generation, the back side, rear side, rear tires from the front view of the path lines has been distributed. You can see that they, we have just increased the intensity of the path lines. Yeah, it's been formation of the vortexes around the mirror. You can see how smooth it was smooth it was on the surface of the external surface and this is the wind noise also we have been calculated over here the wind noise uh, we have gone for bo uh, broad band wind noise and this is the wind noise Okay, and uh, here it's uh, we have just seen the wind noise distribution over the luxury sedan with mirrors. We can see at the region where uh, the intense the blue, the light blue gives the more intensity of wind noise compared to dark blue, which is near to the uh, rare external mirrors. And there is a small video. Showing you the wind noise. Uh, yeah, so you have seen the wind noise is generated due to the pressure difference change. Here it comes to be wind rush noise. The wind rush noise is due to the uh, external, uh, the wind rush noise is due to some ex fluctuation of the pressure over external bodies. Let's go for next for the like, uh, luxury sedan with external rear view camera mirrors. Of, as of, of our aim, we are going to explain about the external rear, rear view cameras, which uh, where the wind noise will be decreased, which we are going to explain further in our results. And this is this uh, coefficient of drag which has been calculated, and the lift generation, which comes approximately nearly to zero, like a situal graph. This is the with camera, the simulation where we have gone to. As you have seen with camera, the path lines, velocity path lines, how it's been distributed, the magnitude of velocity path lines. The smoothness of this uh, flow you can see too. And This is the how it's been distributed, the back 3D vortex, how it's been forming. And there's a linear flow through the body. And it's been going on, the linear flow has been taking place. Next. Yeah, we have just uh, going, uh, uh, we have taken ISO surface at the Z axis for a luxury sedan with the camera and we just validated it with the velocity simulations making a path lens as you see these balls just show the vortex as you have seen this uh, simulation on comparison to the uh, uh, On comparison to the mirror, the camera has a smooth, smooth uh, path length which has been generated. Mirror having more affected region uh, compared to the camera, as we have seen. The wind noise has also been generated more. This is the path lines how it's been generated. from the side view
as you have seen the path lines now let me explain you uh, how with some pictures so you can see how smoothly it's been taking place this is the iso surface where the picture has been taken from the side of the mirror camera i'm sorry then now we are going for wind noise analysis you can see the wind noise analysis has a having a very small affected area compared to the uh, mirror region can go for back we'll just show you the how it's been generated you can see where the uh, where the contour over here it's very compared to very large compared to the uh, camera where the affected region is very more compared to the camera when we come for camera it's very less effective area that uh, shows the betterment of our required results what we need and uh, and uh, let me explain you uh, my friend chirag is going to explain about the results and conclusions thank you so uh, as you can see obviously frontal area got reduced in case of camera so let me tell you the values which we uh, which we find uh, by using a projected area method so frontal area for for pure sedan was around 4.2.45 uh, and in case of sedan with mirror it was 2.617 around 0.2 meter per meter square got increased then in case of camera it got reduced to 2.5 that means 0.1 reduction when uh, as compared to mirror then when we talk about vorticity vorticity near a pillar so in case of uh, pure sedan we have not used anything so it is uh, almost negligible but in case of mirrors and cameras mirrors are having very high vorticity where hi very high wake formation uh, in case of uh, mirror which ultimately creates a more pressure difference and generate the wind noise and where in case of camera as you have seen the vorticity is very less less compared to camera and flow was very smooth so, and then when we talk about coefficient of lake whether it is not a point of concern but when we have calculated the coefficient of lake in case of pure sedan it was minus 0 0.0012 0 0012 and in case of mirror it was 0 0.002 and in case of camera it is minus 0 0.005 then where finally the main thing which uh, which we, uh, our project is related is drag force so drag force comes in case of pure sedan is 6 624.804 newton in case of mirror it comes 81 810.05 newton and in case of camera it comes 760.234 newtons so almost as you can see it is a 6% 6 to 7% reduction in drag in case of a uh, uh, camera and then when we talk about uh, uh, wind noise so you can see the drag reduction and why why this drag reduction ultimately we can see from the drag formula the formula for drag is cd half rho v square a so as the projected area that is a got reduced so ultimately drag force also get reduced around 6% then uh, wind noise what we got uh, from our analysis is in case of mirror we got from 50 to 70 dy wind noise and then in case of camera we got 50 to 60 dy uh, the reduction in the wind noise was not uh, that much uh, good but when we see the area which is affected by the wind noise was more in case of mirror as compared to camera so the area that is which contains a pillar and mirror or camera that area is more affected in case of uh, mirror since it is having high vorticity so due to that high vorticity more area got affected and that more area will generate more wind noise so i want to exp i want to mention one more thing that if the frequency of that wind noise will same or will come same as the frequency of uh, body or vehicle 
then it can damage the structure. A structure damage type can take place. So how wind noise will increase? So that if we increase the velocity, then it automatically the wind noise will increase. So wind noise will increase, then frequency will increase. So if the frequency of wind noise will matches with the body frequency, then resonance resonance will take place. And when this resonance and resonance will take place, then structural damage obviously will, will take place. That's why we need to at least we need to reduce the area which is affected by this wind noise. So obviously we can see our area which is affected by this wind noise is less in case of camera when we compare with the mirror. So final conclusion is that by using camera frontal area get reduced obviously due to which there is a 6% reduction in drag as shown in the result. Then in case of wind noise there is somewhat considerable change in the acoustic sound pressure level where as we can see as we can also observe that the more area is affected by the wind noise in sedan with mirror as we can compare with the camera. So sedan with camera reduces the wind noise around A pillar. Then when we talk about vorticity near A pillar get reduced with the use of camera due to which flow through ABC pillar is more smooth as compared to camera. Then blind spot obviously we have discussed about blind, sp blind spot which is also one of the one of the uh, very important factor uh, in case of I want to I also want to mention that in case of uh, mirror uh, we use a small mirror also nearby to the main mirror which reduces this blind spot so in case of camera a single lens can uh, you single lens can be used and use the capture image then next re next conclusion is that camera can reduce the reflection from the high beam lights which comes from the overtaking vehicles or vehicle at the back side so that also sometimes uh, prob make, uh, problematic to the driver. So this also get re reduced by using the um, cameras. Then the final conclusion is that if any accident happen on the road where no street cameras are available and investigation need to be required, then the camera on the victim's car can capture the plate number or the car driver's image and can also show what actually happened at that point of time which can help to catch the criminal. So that's all our uh, conclusion. Uh, and we got somewhat good results. Mm, hope you like this project. Hope you like this video. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for, your, for your listening.